$27 million. That's how much money has helped renters in Cass County alone over just the last two years through a program called ND Rent Help. Valley News Team's Justin Betty looked into where that money came from and how the program works. The state of North Dakota started offering the rental help back in May of 2020, but things really got going once the federal Treasury Department funding from the COVID relief tax kicked in in 2021, and its reach has grown exponentially over the last year. Now you're seeing people are working and they're just, their budgets are real tight. And so if they can find a way to help make their budget dollars go farther, um, they're applying for ND rent help and um, we're hoping that it's helping people stabilize. The program can provide up to 12 months of rent and utility assistance to households that make up to 80% of the area's median income, up to sixty-eight dollars to $79,000 a year for a family of four, depending on where they live. And it applies to both renters and homeowners, and you can sign up online. We try to make it as easy as we can. If you need to get us a document, you can even take a picture of it and upload it. We, we try to keep it as, as simple as we can for people. Now, with more than $72 million spent statewide so far, there's obviously concern for fraud. Organizers say they fight that in part by paying the money directly to the housing provider or utility company rather than the person receiving the help. We consider housing providers our, our beneficiaries as well, so we want to make sure that they get the rent that they are owed. We want to make sure that their renter has a place to live, that the homeowner has a place to live, and so this is a nice bridge program. We, we used to call it Rent Bridge, and we kind of like that name because it is a bridge. It's a bridge to housing stability for a lot of people. That's Justin Betty reporting. ND Rent Help is designed to supplement the housing resources that were already available before the pandemic, like housing choice vouchers or what used to be known as Section 8. And organizers say the funding should remain available through at least 2024. Stay with us.